Getting married was the worst decision of my life. My husband doesn't cook or clean and he's still an amazing husband. Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you are new here, this is Naturally Gloria. And to my OGs, my returning subscribers, hello. And a big shout out to each and every one of you. Let's come back to watch my videos. So guys, there's this sort of talk that submissive trad wife, submissive stay at home mom, end up regretful in life. And a lot of women were like, women should stop being submissive. Women should stop being a stay at home mom. Women should stop being a traditional woman a traditional wife blah 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 and all that guys i'll just let you guys watch for yourself hear it from the horsey smile so sit right back and make sure you watch the rest clips to the end let's watch it together also make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section do you think it pays to be a trad wife a traditional woman let me know your thoughts in the comment section because i'm coming back to give you guys my full commentary my hot take on this also make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up as it helps with the algorithm so guys let's dive straight into this video i want to start this video by saying that i'm not asking for money and i'm not asking for sympathy what i'm asking for is if you are a young 14 16 21 year old girl listen up i drove to the grocery store i need to grab some milk and bread and a couple things flipped open the pink app on my phone and i've been sitting in my car crying ever since because i never have enough money and why do i never have enough money because when I was a 19 year old girl, I fell in love. My Mormon faith told me that I was supposed to be a stay at home mom. I got married. I started having babies. I dropped out of college. I never had a career. My only jobs that I ever had in life were a waitress at the Olive Garden and m managing a pretzel maker in a mall. Oh, my first couple years of marriage, I decided that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So I bought a windshield business. I was 20. And my Mormon state president reminded me that women weren't supposed to work, so I quit my own business, handed it over to my husband, took my name off of it. I would work our family business throughout the next 24 years of my marriage, but I never got paid. I didn't have a salary. My name wasn't on it. I literally worked for room and board. That's it. I would eventually also launch a custom home building company with my uncle as the architect and my friends as the builder, my designs, my realtor, but again, because my husband was the man, um, his name was on all of the projects, his name was on the business. I remember one of the last custom homes that I built, we sold it and made about a $260,000 profit. That money all went into his bank account. I didn't even have a bank account. I should have said that in the beginning. I never had a bank account. He would give me little envelopes of cash to go grocery shopping with. Anyway, that house sells, the money goes in the bank. Um, I just asked if I could buy myself a piano with the money. I had worked on building that house for two years. All of the money went into his bank account. Nothing was under my name. I got a piano and I got a free house to live in and I got groceries. So I found myself divorced at age 44, just five years ago, and within just a few months, I was living in my car. While he made about a quarter million dollars, he would eventually quit that job so that he wouldn't have to pay alimony and child support. He has only paid alimony one time ever in the five years since we've been divorced, once ever. Right after my divorce, I remember being really confident about my ability to get a job, so I put together a resume. Um, I remember one of the first interviews that I had as management position for a windshield company, similar to the one that we had run. And the man actually laughing as he was interviewing me, like he was really sympathetic. He wasn't being a douchebag, but he was laughing. And he's like, so, so let me get this straight. You helped manage your family windshield business with your husband, but you were mostly a stay at home mom. And all you did was like the marketing and the hiring, firing and some of the strategy for the business but it became really apparent that i needed so many more skills to have any type of management job i couldn't even like work the basic computers he told me in the interview please don't apply for any more jobs like this you are not qualified at all you're not capable of doing this unless you go back to school and get your degree or get some different experience and so i ended up my first job after my divorce was 11 dollars an hour four hours a day working as an assistant to a school teacher in an elementary school I made $44 a day. For 24 years, I lived in million dollar homes. I vacationed all over the world. I spent my summers in Hawaii. I could buy myself $500 jeans, and diamond tennis bracelets. We had boats and RVs and whatever I wanted. 
and it never bothered me once that my financial security was dependent on that man being in love with me. I never realized that him liking me or not liking me or finding me sexy or attractive or interesting determined whether or not my children could eat, whether or not I could buy myself a fucking jug of milk and a loaf of bread. So I had my fifth surgery in two years, two weeks ago, and I'm supposed to be in bed resting, and I can't because I've worked seven days a week since my divorce five years ago, which is why I'm covered in paint and looking like crap. We actually have a four-day weekend here in Tucson, and since my partner isn't working, he's working on furniture flip partner projects with me. I have no retirement. I have no savings, no education, no resume. I was almost a straight-A student throughout all of my education. I went to college at age 17. I had dreams for my future. I'm working so hard to get myself out of just perpetual side hustle hell. There's not a day that goes by that I don't wonder why. Why I didn't have a fucking backup plan. Why my kids eating and having stability was dependent on a romantic relationship. Why nobody told me to put money in the bank. Why nobody told me, don't have babies until you have an education and some experience. Don't have so many kids. I wish somebody had told me to put my name on our vehicle loans and to put my name on our houses. I wish somebody had told me that it's okay to put those babies in daycare for a couple days a week and go to college and have a job. And I think I need to do an entire like trad wife sequel because you can be happy and rich and loving your life like ballerina farm until the guy walks out. I want you guys to imagine for a minute, even rich Hannah, if Deanna walked out, if all of his financial backing and he had to sell the farm, and then what does she have? Find another rich boy to marry? I just don't want one more woman to DM me, comment, send me their stories, cry to me about how hard it is for them to support their families, and I am so tired of living my own story. We have to make this stop. Raise your daughters to be financially independent. Focus on their futures and educations just as much as you focus on your sons. I wish that someone had done that for me. I've heard so many men preach and talk about that women hit a wall after 35 and rendering them virtually valueless. I don't know why married women think they are not included in this misogynist. I always tell young women to have something that is their own. Maybe an education, a career, your name on properties, investment and savings. I've seen so many women become destitute after a divorce. Wake up ladies. Take charge of your own life. Because from this woman's story, it basically means that the man used to abuse her. And she built a man and he finished with someone else sad still. Sometimes I think people never use their brain and they always think that it could never be me. It, can, it could never be me syndrome until it is. She goes on to say that she was working for a room and board and that he would only give her money for groceries. Like what? As I was watching this video, I was like, like, what? What is the meaning of this? Like, ladies, listen and listen carefully. Everything doesn't have to be a hard lesson. And not just ladies, both genders. Chacha, I feel for her. I really feel for her. And I'm glad she's sharing her story to the world. At least more women can learn from her story. And I'm really praying for her on her path to recovery and independence. I've seen many women, even women in my life, depending on men who stress them out because they later learn that depending solely on men was the biggest mistake they have ever made. Because the men maybe messed up with them financially or were verbally abusive and a plain narcissistic that was why a lot of women decide to have their own money have something to do and never depend on anyone and mind you i'm not saying being a trad wife or a traditional wife is bad i'm not saying that being a trad wife is good but then you have to use your sense you have to have something doing what happens to supporting your husband financially but then the most dangerous position a woman can be is financially dependent on a man i'm not hating on the man either he could intend to look after you and the kids forever but die tomorrow without a will in place he could die without giving you access to the funds he actually meant for you like he doesn't have to be a bad man for his absence to leave you destitute with zero job skill i really feel for her as her voice tremble it hit my heart i think she need therapy and any man that wants you woman to be entirely dependent on them is straight out evil marriage should be a partnership not one of individual wanting to come 
control the other and not wanting them to flourish in their own aspects her story is very very sad and i hope her message gets understood by many women out there guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section and if you are enjoying this conversation go ahead and give it a massive thumbs up yeah go ahead and click on that like button and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section and share this video as well a lot of people have to see this video other people see this video other people share their experience why they think being a tradition a trad wife not a traditional woman a trad wife fully dependent on the husband or on the partner is totally wrong my husband doesn't cook or clean and he's still an amazing husband here's why he's a provider he makes sure that all of our bills are paid that we have all the food that we need the clothes that we need and we are always taken care of number two he cares about my emotional spiritual and physical well-being not just mine but our babies too and number three he's fun he loves to take us on little adventures and he loves to get us little treats and do so many fun things with us I'm here to tell you why that whole trad wife trend is absolute bullcrap. I just got off the phone with a friend of mine who has been married for about 15 years now. Before she got married, she got a master's degree in education and a law degree. She met her husband in law school. He wanted a traditional wife. She did not take the bar and instead they got married. He took the bar he passed the bar he became a lawyer and she became a full-time housewife and later a mom times five they have five children okay fast forward 15 years where he has been cheating on her for years she finally caught him red-handed she has enough confidence and determination to say i want a divorce i'm done He's walking away with a $300 plus thousand dollar job that he got, by the way, from one of her mom friends in a mom group. Let's just put that aside. She has nothing. She has two advanced degrees, zero experience. So are they even worthwhile? Are they even worth anything? She has nothing to show for it. And in the last 15 years, what has changed in law and in education? Probably quite a bit. So she is stuck at this crossroads of feeling like she has nothing. And before you say alimony, he is trying to screw her out of everything he possibly can. She cannot keep the house, even though she has primary custody of the children. Um, she can't afford it. She has no job, absolutely no job right now. Um, and even if she did, there are five children. So between drop-offs and pickups at four different schools, she has about three hours in the daytime when she is not tending to children. So to any woman who is considering that the trad wife lifestyle might be it for you, I encourage you to think about this story. Remember it. And just remember that you as a woman need to have something for yourself. If anything, just for yourself, because you absolutely never know what can happen in life, whether it be divorce, whether it be cheating, whether it be the passing away of your spouse, you have to take care of yourself and put yourself first. You can still love and support your husband and be an incredible wife who takes care of your man, but take care of yourself first. I just saw this video of this man talking about how it's not wrong for women to want provider men because they are trying to add to their lives and I could not agree more. Whether this is talking about men or women, you should not be in a relationship with somebody who is not actively adding to your life. And I'm going to say that as men and women because I'm not gonna sit here and have all of you men talk about some what are you bringing to the table? I know what I bring to the table. Regardless, you should not be dating somebody that's not adding to your life. If somebody is stressing you out or stressing your finances or stressing this or whatever and is not actively adding something to your life and is only either making it about the same or is demoting your life and taking things away from you that you love or things that you like to do, then that is not the right person for you. I refuse to be with a man who is going to demote my life. If he is not making my life better, then I am not going to be with him. That is 100%, I will stand by that. There is nothing wrong with wanting a man who is going to upgrade my life in a way that he makes me happier or he does things for me that I can't do for myself and I will do things for him that he can't do for himself. That that is the best possible relationship advice I saw on this app today. When it comes to this whole trad wife conversation, I personally think the husband, the boyfriend, the partner has nothing to do with, has nothing to do with having a great partner who provides for you. And it has everything to do with you. When you are a traditional wife or a trad wife, you are essentially working for free. You don't get to work outside of the home. Therefore, you don't have a 401k. 
you are using up all of your earning potential. 50 jobs that you do in the house are not considered a job outside of your home, so you can't put them on your resume. Years you could have been using building up your resume are now being spent building up your children and building up your household and building up your husband because when you get to stay at home, he gets to go to work and he gets to advance his career. The problem is leaving yourself behind and leaving yourself unprotected because if we're being honest with yourself, anything can happen to your partner's job. Anything can unfortunately happen to your partner to where they're no longer able to provide for you. And we're not talking about people who have invested very well and are constantly have income coming in outside of their one partner's income. We're talking about people who are strictly trying wives who rely on that one income and absolutely nothing else which hard wives are being portrayed on this app you're seeing women who said they don't have a bank account they don't have this they don't even know what the mortgage is with they don't even know what their husband is making or they don't have access to their husband's bank account that is a dangerous way of living especially when you have kids to worry about for me personally, when my husband gets paid, I get paid. I 100% believe in absolutely having your own line of credit, having your own 401k, having your own credit cards, your own bank accounts, because you as a stay-at-home mom do have a job. You are working inside the home. The way I look at it, because you trust your husband so much that he should have no problem making sure that you are able to sustain your lifestyle by yourself, even if he decides today that he doesn't like you. At the end of the day, making sure you have insurance for yourself is not saying you don't trust your partner or you believe something bad is gonna happen we all have car insurance doesn't mean we walk around driving our car into a ditch or into a tree because we have insurance giving someone the power to feed you is also giving them the power to starve you i refuse to be in such dependent and vulnerable position financial independence is in so many ways the only independence that really matters so ladies even if you are not with a rich man and just a generous man look up trust please 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 look up trust study them and get your financial house in order because he may be the greatest guy that ever lived but if you all did not set up this for yourself because no one lives forever you could be in danger because nothing scares a below bare minimum man away from you quicker than a lady who knows how to manage her own finances and nothing attracts great and worthy men to you faster than a lady who knows already how to handle her own finances so it's always important that even though you want to be a traditional traditional woman a tra a trad wife is always important to have a backup plan yeah because your husband could be ill getting an accident pass away or just straight up leave you then what stay in education young ladies or at least be able to work for yourself so guys i would really like to know what you guys think in the comment section and if you can relate to this video please go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comment section share your experience and what you think about this video also don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and share this video and in case you are just in my face or this channel for the first time yes this is what i do here my channel naturally gloria feel free to join this beautiful growing family by clicking on that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification in that way you get notified each time i do drop beautiful videos like this again and one more thing guys there's always exclusive content for members only so go down below in the description box to click on the link to join my membership until i come your way again on my next upload for now bye guys